Welcome back to Sturge Trivia. This is Sturge playing Seven Days to Die. I know why. I totally love this game. It's uh, it's amazing. I'm here in uh, the Navisgain map with my new slip and slide base. Check this out. You remember the original uh, from the first series, uh, How to Build a Horde Base? I've been using this to uh, this model to build my slip and slide base. This one happens to be out of reinforced concrete, uh, then concrete, and then where there's a little bit of flagstone and wood up above. And you can see I've done all kinds of upgrades and so forth. I made some mistakes on this as well. This side, the reason it's flagstone is because there was a chimney. I just put that, uh, I decided flagstone was cheap and easy to make it work. So you can see here, this is a pretty sweet base. It's held up to, Everything but up uh, the first three hordes. Now it's day 28. Uh, I'm going to actually clear out this driveway later. Uh, yeah, this day 28 horde. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of how well this base uh, is set up. With all the different types of supports like here on the corners. Uh, these are all iron bars all along uh, the concrete supports on the corners. I'm going to show you a little bit more about the base. And how you can make this actually not only your horde base which were living base, so all of my stuff, uh, forges and cement mixers and everything's inside. And uh, I have a little garden on the roof, so let's get to seeing that. Now I've set it up so there's only one entrance and the zombies can't uh, jump enough to get onto that ladder. They don't even think about it actually, so it's just, that's it. My one entrance, uh, I've got a little uh, chest of stuff to uh, take to the trader. But here, this, the, this ladder was actually in this building when I started. I put the other in. Uh, so this is the top of the base. I have some blueberry plants. I have some pumpkins. Uh, if you come down here, I've got some mushrooms on the wall, which is a great place for them. And then I have my potato plants and corn plants. So it actually works out pretty well. This is my main base. And then, of course, my tree farm is across the street in the Papa Pills uh, parking lot, which is perfect for that. And those are all fully grown trees, so I'm I'm pretty much set up. And then I have a railing all along here. I may put in more planters uh, from time to time, but uh, for the most part, I'm just uh, safe as houses up here um, with my, uh, my iron bars got a few entrances and of course when you come out the door I have a little protection so you don't just run and jump right off but yeah the iron bars uh, concrete cobblestone this thing is pretty much impervious to uh, to zombies and then I'm digging it out so it's currently only four deep I'm gonna dig it out so it's six deep maybe even eight deep and then there's gonna be a, a ramp on the other side as well you can see them all. I'm just showing you right here I've reinforced all of the um, the support columns. I'm, then I'm going to put some more, uh, before the horde tonight, I'm going to put some more caging bars down so that I don't actually get attacked by vultures. Or if I do get attacked by vultures, I don't have much to worry about. And then I'm going to take this driveway out after the uh, the horde is finished. And then we'll be ready for the day 35. Okay, the horde's just about on us. I uh, put up most of the torches outside. Just got to come in and do the inside. I put them on the top just in case I'm up here. I'm really not going to come up here during the horde. If I can help it, that way I don't get attacked by vultures and so forth. Uh, it's just, it's not ready yet. I don't have all the protections in place that I need. Um, whoops. <laughs> what was that? Alright, anyway, we've got eight minutes to go before the horde gets here, so uh, let's get ready. Oh, I hope, I hope I'm ready. I don't know that I have enough protection up on the side walls here. Hopefully, yeah, we'll see. We'll see in just a couple of minutes, won't we? Thunder and lightning. All right, here we go. I uh, just got my quick bar set up. Hopefully, it's ready. Uh, I don't know if my stamina's up high enough. I probably should eat my blueberry pie. We drink some tea. You know, just get ready for the horde. I, I feel pretty safe up here. Oh, damn it! Freaking cop. Start the day off right. Now he's down. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh. I feel pretty safe up here. You know, I don't really have a lot to worry about. Uh, my stamina is a little low. I wasn't really super prepared because I don't really need to be. These guys will just, you can see, they're not even beating on the walls. They're just jumping up and down. Let's see what's around the other side here. But yeah, uh, probably a couple of guys came in from the back. Nope, nothing out here. On the side here. Oh, we got loner guy. I'll shoot him later. Yeah, this is, you can see, they're, they're just... Just now starting to beat on the wall a little bit. But for the most part, not really. And it's uh, 
it's the uh, spider monkey uh, zombies that uh, that actually beat on the wall. Uh, I, oh wait, he might, he might. Oh, he can get up here. Ooh. Okay, that's uh, that's something I hadn't anticipated. <laughs> Uh, spider monkeys getting up here. The, those guys. Uh, I mean, I'm ready for vultures, but not for the jumping aspect of uh, spider monkey zombie. Well, great. All right. Well, that's one thing. Let's see if there's a vulture in the future. And you can see it's just that one block they're hitting, and that's right below the torch. So I suspect that I put that torch in the wrong spot. Oh, cop. All right. Come on, cop. There we go. Oh, and he dropped loot bag. That's nice. Yeah, it just looks like that one block they're hitting, and I think that's because that torch is there. They perceive that as some way of getting in. Uh, so maybe that's a mistake on my part. I'm going to have to move that torch down or up or find a better place for it. I really don't have to shoot these zombies. They don't, uh, they don't really pose any kind of threat to me. Really, all I have to do is just wait. Hey, stop messing around with my loot bag over there. The dogs do pose a little bit of a threat because they do beat on the walls as well, but for the most part, you just shoot them. Uh, the other zombies don't really uh, don't really do anything. You can see they're just jumping up and down. I could sit up here and not shoot at them at all. That's a little boring. I do like to see uh, what they'll throw at me if I can get a you know white or you know uh, irradiated, but not yet. It's day twenty-eight, I and mean, it would be pretty early to get an irradiated. And I'm only level thirty-seven, so. Yeah, they're beating on her a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely that, uh, it's that torch. See, she's getting stuck on that torch, so she thinks she can get up there. Well, next up we'll have to get rid of the torch. Ah, uh, darn it. Well, this isn't working. Maybe I should, uh, throw some dynamite down there. What do you think? Maybe that'll work, huh? A little dynamite? Or I'll just throw it down there and not light it. Or did I light it? I've never actually thrown dynamite before, so I have no idea if that's going to work. Apparently it's not going to blow up. Kind of looks like it's lit. Is it like impact sensitive or something? Oh, great. Uh, the dynamite isn't going to blow up. And it's right next to the wall, so yeah, I'm going to try to shoot at it. This is real bright. Yeah, that's... <laughs> this isn't going to work. Oh, man. I guess the dynamite is just not going to blow up. I, can, I gotta jump down there and get that and or get that uh, that loop bag because that's the first loop bag I've had in a uh, in a horde night. So I gotta get on that. All right, this is looking like the last four zombies. I don't hear any more coming in? Yeah, there we go. Now pop pop them all. Just get it all cleared up. I hear one more coming. One more? I just want to go get that loot bag so bad. I'm just going for it. <laughs> oh, armor parts and a bottle of water. Uh, no, not very exciting. Oh, there's a cop. Shoot. Ooh, we're going to get out of the way. Get away. All right. Here we go. <sighs> that was kind of stupid. It's, it's more fun to do that, actually. It's just to kind of run and get a little wild. Uh, it's only 2.41. Where's that cop? There you go. There he is. Yeah, before he vomits all over everything. Nice. Oh, that was easy. Alright. I don't hear any more coming. Is that it? Oh no, here, here they come. Feeling pretty safe up here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Just as I say it, I get attacked by a vulture. I'm gonna have to put up more bars. And somehow figure out how to keep them, keep the vultures away. They're really doing a number on that one block right below the, the torch there. I think that's the problem. I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a support system to, uh, to house that torch so they don't keep attacking that uh, that one block. But so far, oh, there's another cop. Oh, we're doing so good. You can see this is a really effective base. It just There's no chance of them, even if they break through that block, it's all concrete on the other side anyway. There's no chance of them getting it. And it's 3 o'clock, so we're almost there. 
Okay, let's finish off these last zombies. It's almost four o'clock. There we go. Well, they're doing a number right on that spot below the torch. Amazing. Yeah, let's finish these guys off. It's almost morning. A few seconds more. There's the piano. Yeah, I want to wrap this up, get to get my repairs, and get to looting uh, all around Navis game. All right, last two. Big Mama. See, they're they're attacking the blocks below the torches. That I've got to figure out. This is the last one right here. Yeah, right below the torch there, they do a lot of damage. I'm going to have to get those up higher. And that's all she wrote. Let's get out my repair uh, deal. Let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that. I took quite a bit of damage. 2,300 damage. Well, of 5,000, I'm not too worried about. Man, that, this thing stood up really, really well. Except for that guy. He, he didn't stand up very well. Yeah, look at that. Just that one block. I mean, all the others just took like 40 or 50 damage. That one took 2,300. So this is super easy to repair. It'll be done. Uh, gosh, it should only take me a few minutes uh, to finish up the, the repairs here and get out and about and travel around. So this is uh, there's my slip and slide base. That's, uh, that's how you do it. Yeah, see that tor torch is in a weird spot. That's why they think they can get to it. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the effectiveness of the slip and slide base. I recommend using it uh, for all bases. In fact, I have a second one already made, just up the road. It's sort of my forward base, and uh, it's just made of cobblestone so far. But whenever the, I'm in there doing things at night, and the zombies hear me, I don't care. They can sit there and jump around all they want. It doesn't doesn't matter to me. I can shoot them at my leisure, or not at all. Uh, that's the utility of this slip and slide base. So I thought it would be fun to show you day 28. I'm still playing this one. Uh, I guess what what's next is day 35, then 42. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll record one of those and show you how well this has stood up to those, uh, hordes as well. But, uh, here you, here you see, uh, what I've done so far. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.